hi guys welcome back so for each function how does it work by definition it steps through and evaluates expressions for all members of the list and returns the last value so we have an example of a list where we issue the for each command we have a list of letters a b and c and then we included the print function to print the value of each element so basically it steps through each of the member inside the list and then this is the part that executes it whatever you can define any function in here but for this example, let's just use the print function. And what we see is ABC, and it returns the last value. But we can suppress that last value by adding the print C command. It's basically for a clean output. So we only have ABC. But let's focus on this for each function. So it's just steps through each of the item in the list and then you can add extra processing here whatever is your requirement okay another example we have is for each n of our list of numbers we also use the print n okay just print Let's try this one. So there you go. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's also apply this one to the definition data of this line, for example. So we can do the same thing for each n, and we will get the list of that line object. We do the same thing. Let's say print a n and then print c. See? So we have a list here, and then it's just steps through each of this item and then run the the print command. Right? So it shows like this first pass, second pass, third pass, and so on. This is what we've got. This will be very useful when we are, or when you are working on these uh, vertices of a polyline, for example, that you can loop through each of the vertex and do anything about that uh, coordinate, for example. Okay, so that's how for each work. Very straightforward. Just have a good understanding of the function that it just loops through whatever is in the list. Alright? 